Hey, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about sharpening this cleaver. And it's that time of year, the holiday season is upon us, and usually that is when this cleaver of mine makes an appearance. It was given to me by a buddy who lives in Singapore a few years ago, and it has been a trusty tool that I use specifically during the holiday season, and it has served me real well. Now, since I don't use this cleaver very often, it maintains a pretty good edge. And uh, right from the factory, it came with a razor edge. But now that I've been using it for a few years, and I have my Wicked Edge Sharpener with the higher grit stones, I want to go ahead and just give it more of a Wicked Edge, which it certainly deserves, and it'll help to maintain it throughout many more holiday seasons yet to come. As I mentioned, since the edge on this cleaver only needs some fine tuning, I'm going to go ahead and use my higher grit stones that I have here available, and I'm going to be starting with the 1500 grit and working my way up and through the 0.6 micron. I'm going to briefly go through the setup process here because I have a couple detailed review videos already on using this Wicked Edge 130 sharpener. So if you do want to check out those initial videos that have a lot more detail on the setup and actual application of the Wicked Edge sharpener, I will place the link in the description as well as in the top right corner now. So I'll go ahead here with my setup, getting my cleaver ready to be sharpened. Okay, it's definitely in there. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sharpie here in order to color in All right, let's go ahead and find that angle. Now that I have my line here on the edge, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look for the correct angle to set my sharpener to so that I can go ahead and put the correct edge by using the correct angle on this cleaver. And by doing that, what I'm doing is I'm taking this 2200 grit stone. I wanna find the correct angle by using this 2200 stone and taking that line that I just drew in my Sharpie off of there. Once again, let me get a little closer here. Okay, that's looking pretty good right there. Just got to get the other angle set on the other side. Now that we're all set up, we have our stones ready. Starting out with the 2200. We are set up. We got the correct angle set here on our sharpener. Thanks to the line that we drew with the Sharpie. And we're ready to go ahead and start sharpening. See, right off the bat, this feels much smoother than it usually does because, of course, I uh, am usually working with blades that aren't in uh, this good a condition because they're more of everyday blades, get used a lot more often than this cleaver does. So now that I'm using these higher grits, right off the bat, it's feeling pretty smooth. But I could tell that I'm uh, definitely doing something here. So now it's even getting much smoother than it was when we first started out. Okay, that's feeling pretty good there. Always make sure that you uh, clean off your stones. You don't want them contaminating anything and you wanna keep them new. And just like any other piece of gear, maintenance will help to uh, maintain that objective. That is definitely getting razor sharp here. Let's go ahead and switch out our stones. Wipe them off. There's care instructions also on the uh, Wicked Edge website. So be sure that you check them out because uh, there's other further maintenance also after, let's say you sharpen 25 knives you want to get more detailed on your cleaning and you'll find that information on the Wicked Edge's official website. So I'm going to switch over 
to the 3000 grit here stone super smooth and really will ensure that we get that uh that incredible razor edge on this cleaver so let's do it when it comes to creating a bevel that has a low angle like this it's enough of an angle to give me precise cuts, let's say with my veggies, but still tough enough to stand up to, let's say, carving a turkey. Some things to keep in mind when it comes to angle selection, let's say these lower angles between 18 and 20 degrees, I find that it's fine enough to cut veggies cleanly so they stay fresh and crisp in the fridge and the flavor is nice and clean. It's also tough enough to stand up to hitting bone while carving meat and is durable enough to last through all the meal prep. Sharpening would be good to go right where it is right now, but since I have these further micron stones We're gonna go ahead and utilize them. So we'll start with the 1.4 to begin with Always keep safety in mind especially with an edge that I have here in front of me with this uh, cleaver and looking through a viewfinder, <laughs> but for you hopefully you wouldn't be looking through a viewfinder and always be aware because uh, you don't want to get caught on this uh, razor edge. I'm only going to need a few passes here. All right, let's switch over to the 0.6 micron. I'm only going to need a little bit of that. It's already feeling super smooth. And that should be it. That's feeling great. That is no joke. I could probably shave with this thing. And let's get our blade off. There it is. Razor sharp. Wicked edge. So you can see some of the benefits here of using these higher grit stones. The cleaver is going through these hard carrots like they are butter. Some other benefits of these finer grit stones is that they leave your veggies looking and tasting fresher. So this allows me to save on prep work by prepping the day before and actually being able to store my veggies and salads in the fridge saving me a bunch of time the next day, and it also cuts down on that oxidation, that browning of your veggies that make them look awful that seem to happen to my avocados all the time, pretty much overnight, and also helps to avoid that metallic taste. So bottom line, if you want your tools, your blades, your knives, razor sharp, wicked sharp for your holiday season, definitely take a look at these Wicked Edge sharpeners. They also make an incredible gift. Keep an eye out for all of those holiday deals that'll be coming our way soon.